Hello everyone! It's almost New Year's Eve and this is my kind of makeup that I would wear. So I decided I would share it with you. If you want to see how I did it, then keep on watching. If I truly would have enough time to do this makeup, I would. But most of the time, I don't have the time. <laughs> so I'm starting out with my brows. I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Taupe. To prime my eyelids, I'm using my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and also my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC20 and I'm putting it right under my brows to kind of shape the brows and also to use it as my base for the eyeshadow. So I'm putting it right under my brows and the paint pot I'm putting right onto my lid and then I blend it all together. For this look I'm using my Lorac Unzipped Palette I'm starting with the shade Undercover and I'm putting it all over my lid just to set my base and then I'm taking unconditional and I'm putting it right above my crease onto the lower part of my bone and I'm using this shade as my transition shade. For my crease I'm using Unbridled. It's a purpley color, it's very pretty and I'm putting it right into my crease and onto the outer part of my lid and as well as on the inner part of my lid. At the same time I'm blending it all together Then I'm taking this fluffier brush without any product and I'm just blending them all together. Then I'm taking the first shade undercover and I'm putting it right onto my lid and I'm taking it all the way to the inner corner of my lid. I always take this fluffier brush to blend everything together without any product. Then I take undercover again and I put it under my eyebrows to highlight. Then I take this NYX white liquid liner and this is what I use to do my liner this time instead of black. Now I really like it, the white liner, but this one is really hard to work with. As soon as it dries, it can flake off and you could just pull it off and you can feel it when it dries. So I'm not very impressed with this liner. It looks nice though. So if you know a good white liner, please comment down below. I would like to know which one it is so that I can try it out. Next, I'm taking my MAC Pro Longo Concealer and now I'm moving on to my face first. I already applied my foundation. I used the Chanel Velvet Perfection Foundation. I believe that's the one I used. I'm going to link all the products that I used in this video down below in the description box. So if you want to know anything that I used, just check it out down there. And I'm just covering up everything that I need to cover. Since I am using more products than usually, I apply very thin layers of every product. So I applied only one layer under my eyes of that concealer. And to highlight, I'm using this MAC Prep and Prime highlighter in Light Boost. Now to set everything, I'm using this translucent powder by Shiseido and I'm just setting it slightly all over my face. I'm not baking at all and I know, shocking, but I'm not. And I did put a little bit more under my eyes though, so that it doesn't crease it so much and it really does help. So I kind of brushed my eyebrows through so that all the powder is gone and I set them in place. Now I'm moving on to my lower lash line and I'm just applying all the shadows that I just used on the top. I'm using them on the bottom. And then I'm taking this NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and I'm putting it 
on the bottom lash line but first I decided to tight line the top waterline so I applied this black co-liner by NYX and I'm curling my eyelashes putting on some waterproof mascara and then I'm applying these lashes and I kind of messed up with my mascara but oh well it's all clean now these lashes are by dodo lashes in the style D 105 now you can't really tell but maybe a little bit the liner the white liner is kind of breaking apart so I I need to fix it I took this Kiko eye brightener it's a glittery silicon type of glitter that you can just put anywhere and it's very pretty so I decided to put that on the top of the liner and into my inner corner and I'm just blending it on the top of my lid and to have some more glitter I'm taking my elf glitter primer and I'm applying it first and then I'm taking my pop glitter it's such fine glitter it's very nice and I'm putting it right onto the primer and kind of blending it all together with the shadow and I'm also putting some primer and some glitter under my eyebrows to highlight a little bit more Now I'm just blending the glitter together with the eyeshadow. I'm taking a little bit more of that darkest shade that I used and I'm just blending it all together until it all looks nicely and blended. <laughs> now I'm putting on some mascara to combine my lashes with the fake lashes and back to my face I'm contouring my face now and I'm using this contour shade by the Tardiest Pro Glow Palette and to highlight my face I'm using the same palette and I'm using these two highlighters and I'm sorry but I didn't record it so I don't have it on tape and I know everyone likes to see the highlighter but I will show you next time <laughs> and here I'm using my hula bronzer by benefit to warm up my face then I'm taking my Tarte blush in celebrated it's so pretty look at that like it's almost replacing my MAC harmony blush which I love and then I'm putting on some lip liner all around my lips one that matches my liquid lipstick which I'm using by lime crime in the shade cashmere this is another thing that I'm not very fond of it's very sticky and I have to kind of push it in to make it not stick so much please tell me your favorite liquid lipsticks and to kind of brush brighten everything up again I'm using my Labi Aesthetic contour palette which I just got and I'm in love and I'm only using the lightest matte shade to just brighten everything a little bit and then I just spray my face with make fix plus and that's it please give me a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to my channel to see more videos and I will see you next time bye bye